This video shows some local features of Pleistocene Lake Lahontan in northwestern Nevada. This Paleo Lake was the result of the climate during the Wisconsin Age glaciation during the late Pleistocene epoch from 75,000 years ago to 10,000 years ago. 10,000 years ago was the beginning of the Holocene epoch we presently live in. At its maximum extent, its dimensions were 165 miles west to east and 230 miles north to south. This vast lake was similar in scale to some of the Great Lakes. Remnants are left as present-day Pyramid Lake and Walker Lake. In Pleistocene times, the lake was 900 feet deep at Pyramid Lake, similar to Lake Erie. Over present-day Lahontan Valley in the Fallon area, it was 400 feet deep. Here it was 30 miles wide and 90 miles long. These videos are done using visible fossil shorelines that are apparent on topographic maps at the 1250 meter, 1300 meter, and 1350 meter contours. These levels represent 10,000 years ago, the beginning of the Holocene, 13,000 years ago, the Younger Dryas impact event, and 62,000 years ago, the late Pleistocene. Starting with an overview, we're uh, looking up the Truckee River Canyon towards Reno. Circling around where the, where the train is, is the uh, 13,000 year uh, level. Across the uh, valley there, you can, the white deposits are at the same beach. Circling around to the north, there's your narrator in the, over the wing. <laughs> is uh, Wadsworth uh, looking at the Truckee River going towards Pyramid Lake. And then there's a wide spot down here called the uh, Wadsworth Amphitheater. It's sort of a badlands of uh, interesting formations on each side of the uh, river. Coming up around here, we're Fernley turning into view, and this is a, a place called Fernley Pass, where it is thought at one stage of the complicated history of the Lake Lahontan, the Truckee River actually went through a place called Fernley Pass, and went through that low spot there. Over there where the green dot is, is the beginning of the 40 mile desert. You can see the uh, paleo ripples from the lake there. So through Fernley Pass, the uh, Truckee River for a while ran down through there where the dot is over to Fernley Sink. Excuse the camera shake and glare. It's always something. Oh well. Down here on the ground, just below the area we were looking down on, we're standing on old Highway 40, the highway before Interstate 80, which is below us. Across the canyon, the valley, you can see the corresponding lake level over there. The 1300 meter uh, 
level. Over there, right up where the green dot is, is the uh, corresponding level. Above that, where that knob is, where the red dot is, is the, called the Itza level. That's like 62,000 years, much earlier than uh, where we are now. Swinging around to face the Para range to the north. There's our intrepid surveyor using a level to sight the levels across the valley. They're very subtle. Right there where the green dot is, is the same lake level that continues across here. You have to imagine that's <laughs> how much water was in here. Again, the green dot showing the 1300 meter level of 13,000 years ago. Looking back at the road we were just on, marking the 1300 meter level, that knob up there, the red dot, is the 62,000 year level. Looking at Interstate 80, the level across the canyon, the Olinghaus Fault Zone is why we have these kind of canyons where rivers can cut their way down, in this case over 12 million years. The Truckee River has been going through here. The 1300 meter level. Looking down on where we were parked previously. Right there is where we, where the X is, is where we were using the uh, level. A bit east of the previous cliff, we were parked on the 1300 meter level here on Dodge Flat. Looking across using the level reveals the corresponding levels that we're on, on the opposite range. Here we are directly across from uh, the previous location on the Virginia range looking across. We're standing right on the 1300 meter level and we can observe the uh, levels across there on the other side on the Para range. The red dot shows where we were on our previous 